Okay, so this is my first tackle tips video. Um, I've been using the half ounce Spro, three quarter ounce Spro a lot for fluking, uh, really for the past decade. And I do not like using a teaser. I don't like having a second hook. So 99% of the time, I just have a single jig in the water. As such, the presentation is very important. And um, as some of you may know, there's a really crappy hook keeper that comes with the Spro jigs. And I usually just cut it off. Um, but I need some way to keep the gulp grub tight against a hook shank so it doesn't slide off with, you know, little fish or even fluke that missed, missed the hook. Um, here I'm tying a loop knot, but I'll do another video on that. The point is, you know, when you drop back to a fish that you missed, you want to have some degree of confidence that your presentation uh, still looks nice. And having a grub that's pulled halfway down the hook shank is not going to get the job done. So after some brainstorming, I came up with a... Um, add-on hook keeper so to speak and it comes in the form of little silicon rubber bands I believe they're used uh, as a hair tying product you can find them at CVS at Walgreens um, probably on Amazon too and Nick should put the link in the description below anyway there they are they come in many different colors and they hold up nicely. Uh, they're not 100% foolproof. Um, you know, I do replace them a couple of times throughout the day, depending on the bite, but they work surprisingly well. So it goes over the eye of the jig and then over the back of the hook. And as you can see, it exerts pressure um, towards the front of the jig holding your soft plastic in place. In this case that's a 5 inch gulp mullet which um, to me is the best all around size for summer flounder. And yeah, um, I've been doing this for a few years now. I introduced it to a few people and they seem to really like how it works so here's part two of the spro jig tip um, a lot of times your tail gets bitten off when that happens I carry a few of these uh, spinner blades this is basically I think a number one or number two willow leaf blade you can go a lot bigger especially if you're in shallow water and I attach a owner centering pin spring um, any screw lock type deal will work the owner just uh, takes the guessing game out of it and you just screw it on to the back of the grub so now you still have the gulp body that gives off the scent uh, which fluke responds to um, and you have something shiny spinning around especially on the fall and you'll see that in a second you know, there were days where I was ripping the tail off um, and just putting this on, especially when they're on peanut bunker um, later on in the season. It's just, especially when it's sunny and you have relatively clear water, they really respond to the flash. And we'll see it briefly in action in the pool. And if you'll notice, if you give it complete slack, the blade uh, swims and rotates nicely on the fall. Um, and if you go to my single jig fluking video, you can see the rod action. Um, you basically pop the jig on slack line and you let it fall on slack line. That gives it 
the best action it gives it the most triggering action um you know the lighter jig you use the higher the arc you can put on it when you pop it through the water column and the longer duration of the fall you can achieve and the fall is where fish will hit your jig all right so i hope that was helpful and um, thanks again to Nick at Tackle Advisors. And if there's any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section below.